Hello, welcome back to, uh, to my YouTube channel. So this is Mr. Amisi Suleiman. I will, today I would like to teach you on how to prospect in Facebook account in Facebook. So basically, Facebook our our main aim when we go to Facebook is just going there to 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 pick the contacts. There is no any other task that you are supposed to do in in Facebook. You are not there, you are not going there to invite people. Sorry. Also, you are not going there to to present your opportunity. So you are just your task there is just a, a prospecting. You get the contacts and then you bring them in your WhatsApp. So first of all, you have to log in into a Facebook account. That is the first thing. So when you get the Facebook account, first of all, you cannot prospect in, in any Facebook account without a, one thing. Make sure that it is branded. So when you go at my profile picture or my profile part. We're going to find that uh, I have a branded profile picture because branding, it also reveals how you are, how do you take things, how do you do your business, which results are you getting. So basically, in order for the for the prospect to trust you, they have to make sure that um, you you have that image in which it brings people or it, it installs the stars, the trust in them. So I have a branded profile picture. When you look at it, when you, I view my profile picture, it is branded. So this is a profile picture that it is also respectful. Eh? And then another one, the cover photo. On a cover photo, you can either put your photo or your picture or you put your, 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 your group photo or you can also just put a... Uh, and something that you, you wish to have in future it can be maybe something like um, an expensive car or it can be something like um, <clears throat> something like an expensive home or an expensive house uh, it's just a luxurious thing that uh, it can captivate the people so then your official names it should be your username or you can use a name but something uh, your, a name that is just respectful not an abusive name like here I'm using my official name I'm Ms. Madinima Suleiman and then check out my bio Make sure that your bio also it captivates people, brings people to your Facebook. Eh? So make sure that it is something that uh, also related to your business. Because you cannot uh, be using your Facebook account for business purpose, but when it goes to your bio, it is a political issue. You see? So uh, first of all, make sure that it is something that related to your business and then uh, it is captivating. Like this one, I am saying a network marketer, online coach and affiliate marketing expert. Up me via that number. That is one of my WhatsApp number. And then make sure that your featured images, featured images also should be captivating, also bring it related to your, to your business. That is all about branding. And then when you post in, a, in your Facebook, uh, Facebook timeline, make sure also you are posting something related to your, to your business. Don't post anything unrelated to a business. So most of the time we are also do not post the testimonials or don't post, uh, don't prospect in your time in your timeline. Like this one, I posted long time ago on May twenty fifth. Uh, on May twenty fifth of twenty twenty, it it is long time ago. So I've not posted anything related to the to the to the prospecting part. So or, or also you can also post your your lifestyle in your timeline because these people also want to see how do you move on with your business, which benefits do you get from your from your business. So you can post lifestyle. So after, that is the first thing, branding part. We are done with that. So after branding now, there are several ways in which you can get contact in in Facebook. Number one is joining groups and you post in those groups. So how do you join groups? I'm going to teach you. Just go to the group icon, the, the part which is written nine here. That is the group icon. You go there. After going there, you click on, you click on discover. When you click on discover, there are several groups that are going to be brought here, but you can either just say, search the groups that you want. I can go there and then most of the time I like searching the college college group, but you can search as many groups as possible. So these are the groups that are, uh, you, you can join. You, you click on join that you have not joined. You click on join and then you join the, the group <clears throat> and then you just wait for the for your request to be accepted some of the groups they're going to give you some questions that you should ask or um, a, an agreement maybe you agree with the rules of the group and then you just click on submit that is how it is because they give their rules also in order for them to to limit the number of the people that are going to join the, the groups then after joining the groups now what is the second thing it is just in posting because you are here 
to for the for the for the customers we are here to get the contact so these are the several groups that you have like this one i can go to this one and uh, like this th these are the groups that i have here so you just go there you click on the any group that you want like this one the i click on the on the plus net one so that you just say uh, i can see all the groups that i have all the groups that i have in in my in my facebook account like this one so there are more than 100 facebook um groups that i have joined so i can go to any facebook group and i post there let me say i go to which one i go to this one kenya technical trainers college you see this is one of the groups so when you get to that group you click on write something click on write something you click, you click there write something so there are several ways in which you can post in <clears throat> sorry there are several ways in which you can post in in facebook in facebook group in a group in the facebook so first way you can either use a colored message so you have got the templates from from your inviter colored message make sure that it is a plain color do not use the the colors with the flowers like this one this one is not good you use the the plain color the red color we have the blue color we have the white color, the black color then we have the white color <coughs> several ones so basically i you can choose any and then you just go to your templates and you just post there uh, let me go to one of my templates that I have. Uh, like this one. Uh, this one brings there. So basically if it is too long, it is going not going to accept the the colored the colored message. You have to make sure that it is uh, somehow short. Like um let me search of one of the templates here. Like uh, this one, this one, this one. So, hey, shit. Be patient with me. I have to select a different, different template. Well, well. Different templates here. There are several templates here that. Uh, so there, yeah, they have several. I have several templates like this one. Hello friends, do you mind an an extra income? I have this one. Beside your salary, you can spend two to three hours making four k to twenty k online. Commenting for send you your yeah, details immediately. I have another one. I make uh, five hundred dollars monthly over and over again just by using Facebook. And then there's another this one. Cafe is here. I was able to train online. So <clears throat> I can click on any template that I have. Like this one, I can click on beside salary. And then make sure that there's no your phone number here. Because when you put this phone number, most of them are not going to, to comment or to like the photo. And then when they do not like the photo, they do not comment, the tracking also goes down. So you make sure that you have your phone number there so that these people can track, can also... Uh, create the tracking because when they like it there your post goes viral so besides your salary you can spend your two to three hours making 4k to 20k online comment info i send you details immediately and then you just click on on post and that is done that is done so most of the some of the groups they're going to be like they just they accept them you are they just accept your post or some of them, they are going to give you, say, they are going to tell you that your post is pending. Like this one, my post is still pending. And if it is pending, I have nothing to do with it. I just wait for them if they are going to accept the post or they don't accept the post. Another way now is where now you use your, any testimonial from from your, from your company. So like like this one, what's your mind? You just go there and then you 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 put the, the comment or the, test, the template there. Or the message <clears throat> like this one hello kenya i need some serious people who are always on facebook and 15,000 kenya shillings up to 48,000 kenya shillings weekly working online if interested say connect and then you add something to your post add to your post and then you click on photos and then like that one i can use any testimonial like this one testimonial so that is how it is and then Make sure that uh, you are, you are, you are, the money that you are saying there 
it is related to the money that is in the testimonial. Because you can say less than maybe the testimonial it is. Like this one. What if I could say earn 15 Kenyan shillings up to 30 Kenyan shillings. And then at the testimonial, it is 41 over 41 Kenyan shillings. You see? So basically, make sure that it is just related to the to the testimonial that you have you have put across or you have posted with. And then you click on, on post. Basically, you then, then you wait for the post to go and to be accepted. Some may accept the post immediately, like this one. It doesn't accept the post immediately. It says post submitted. Your post has been submitted and is pending approval by an admin or a moderator. So you will just click on here and then you just wait for them to accept the post. If they do not accept the post, well and good, but you keep on posting, posting, posting till they know that this person is serious and then one day they will just accept your, your post. And then another way is where you comment in the post of the other people. Make sure that you com you don't comment on someone's timeline. Because when you comment on someone's timeline, it doesn't look like it is respectful. So just go to where someone has, has posted in the group. Like this one. There are 29 comments here. After completing Pandology, this, this person, Cap Galma, has, has posted in this, in this group. So I can go to any post that uh, any someone uh, a person has posted here. Remember, this is not someone's timeline; it is someone's uh, post in a group. So when you comment here, it doesn't go to the to someone's uh, to someone's uh, timeline. So just go there and then you add your comment also. So what do you add in your comment section? You just add something that it is related to the business. Like here, I can uh, add. Uh, add something related you go just go there and pick any template any template and then make sure your template your templates also vary because it, it, it you may do you may be doing spamming and then it just blocked in facebook uh, in posting in facebook and then facebook can also uh, block you on how to comment in some with the templates that you you have so make sure they vary so i can pick one of them here I can pick one of them here. Let's just lose this one. This one. And then you, you post. You reply. So when you just comment there, make sure that you like several, several replies. And then when yours goes, you also like your any. If you post, make sure you, you are the first one to like. If you... You, you, you comment, make sure that you are the first person to like. So basically, those are the ways in which you can prospect in, in Facebook. Another way of getting the contact now, it is where you you add a, a friend, you send friend request and when they accept you have the friend request, you just direct, you go to Messenger and then you prospect. So how do you send friend request? Click on the search button at the top right corner, search button there. And then... Make sure that you search uh, people who are still in the Facebook. So how are you going to identify this? Like here, I can search Grace Nairobi. I want Grace from Nairobi. Grace Nairobi. <clears throat> and then you click on people. So these different grace people have been brought here so basically some of them maybe they left facebook long time ago so and then some are still in the in the in the in the facebook so how do you identify this you can just go to one of the grace like this one you go to their timeline and then look when did they post when did these people post like this one grace juma when this did she last post in in her timeline So identify when did she last identify when did she last post in our timeline. So like this one, when did she last last post in our timeline? Uh, she posted on June 16th. So this one is recent. So <clears throat> you can add a friend request to to this person. So after, after when you add to a friend request, look at her post. Look at her post. When did she last on 16th? And then on 16th, you look at the comments. Go to the comments. When you go to the comments, these are people which are active. They are active in the in the Facebook because the lady posted on 16th. You can see four days ago, eh, this person commented four days ago. So I can go to this people, this person like uh, Felix. I just send friend request to this person because I know I have identified this person is still active in in Facebook. <laughs> so after sending the friend request, 
you wait for them to accept and then you can send at several several friend requests as as many friend requests as, as possible so i can go to this person and then i add friend go to that person and then you add you add friend and then you go to another to another person like this one Uh, like this one you just add you add friend so basically when you add the friends now some of them you're going to prospect them when they post somewhere and then some of them you just uh, prospect them when they like they like your pay your photos like if someone likes my photo i just dm that person hello thanks for liking my photo i would like to share with you an opportunity please can we have some time we discuss it if they say yes you just direct them direct them to your to your whatsapp so basically, when you send the friend request that, uh, then it, another way of, of which you're getting the contacts now, you go to Messenger. Go to, at the top right up account, there's an icon of, of Messenger. So you go there, and then you make sure that you prospect to people which are active at that time. Don't text people which are inactive at that time. You just post, post you just uh, text them, and then they're inactive. So go to the people which are active. <clears throat> Make sure that they are they are active, like this one. These people are active, so I can I can text any person who is active. The the green dot corner refers that this person is is active. So basically, I can text any person who is active at that time. Like hello. So I have texted that person. So you can text several people, and then you go back to your chat and then wait for the replies as you text them. All. So like this one, <clears throat> maybe I go to one of them here. Go to one of them here that uh, I texted so that I can show you how to direct them to your to your WhatsApp. Remember, here you are busy collecting collecting contacts. You do not want to <coughs> to uh, to pro to do not want to to invite people in 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 message because it is also slow a slow way in inviting. So after this person said interested. After after greeting that person, hello, uh, yes, it's, they replied. Then I introduced myself and then I said what I'm I'm providing, what I have for them. So after they say interested, you just direct them to your WhatsApp. Kindly WhatsApp me via my business number, this one, for further guidance. And then we just let them re text you in in your WhatsApp. If they did, they don't text them, if they don't text you, it is well and good. And then you should be doing it in a massive way in order for you to get there. To get the customers so basically those are the ways in which you can collect collect contacts and then at that point thanks for taking this time to watch this video and make sure that you subscribe to our channel make sure you like and then you comment and then make sure that you post it in order to be make sure that other people benefit for this presentation thanks let's meet next time for another video